In this video we are making some fingerless gloves. It's starting to get really cold here in Australia so I need something to keep my arms warm while I'm sewing. And I made several different versions. So this one is one where I made the top a little bit longer so I can fold it over and it shows the beautiful lining fabric and it just makes it extra doubly warm and it's it's a really nice feel and then I made uh, one that is a little bit shorter at the top as well but I can still fold it over and then I also made one that I don't need to fold over at all which is quite handy and you might not want to have that much bulky fabric in the way so that's really really nice and this um, video does not have any pattern or anything but you're going to make the pattern yourself as I'm going to show you in a little bit and let's get started So I'm starting off with my hand on a piece of paper and I'm tracing an approximate pattern all the way around and I'm going to trace about a little bit less than an inch away from my hand and then my arm because I have pretty big hands and I'm a bit of a chubby girl so <laughs> I need to make it a little bit larger and when I do this approximate one inch all the way around that also include includes the seam allowance and then I can make um, I have to put in the holes <laughs> for the thumb here that's the opening for the thumb make it a little bit generous so I have some range of movement there and then I can put can I then I can decide how long I want to make it at the top and there are several options and then at the bottom I'm making another little line that's about half an inch long and I'm making one at the top as well so if you wanna if you want the lining fabric to show on the outside then you cut the lining fabric a little bit long at the top and at the bottom so later on when we turn it all inside out then we can roll the fabric the lining fabric over and sew it in place and then it shows from the inside from there and then it shows at the outside and that just gives it a really nice little um, look and now yeah that's what I'm explaining here so we're going to cut the lining fabric a little bit longer and then we can decide how long we want to make them so this would be the length for um, a fingerless gloves that does not need any folding over or that you can't fold over at the top and um, that's the one that I'm sewing in this tutorial so I'm going to fold everything over and this is going to be the length for my main fabric which I already cut so this I'm using some felt fabric here or fleece fabric I think it is because I want it to be nice and warm and a little bit thicker you can also sew everything just from jersey fabric or knit fabric so for the lining I'm using a really stretchy knit fabric and as you can see I made it a little bit, little bit longer at the bottom and at the top about half an inch longer so I'm going to end up with a quarter inch um, little um, frame at the bottom and at the top so the lining fabric will show on the outside later on and now I'm going to make little cuts where the thumb holes are going to be and I'm going to cut the main and the lining fabric as well so I know where to start and stop sewing later on so for this I'm folding over the pattern again so I cut it all in the right place and please excuse me if I don't really find the right words English is not my first language but I hope that the pictures will show you what I'm doing so sometimes I just don't really know how to call something. <laughs> and now I'm going to pin everything along the top and the bottom edge. And of course as we co um, cut the lining fabric a little bit longer at the bottom and at the top, everything will not line up perfectly. But later on when we turn everything inside out, then it'll all make sense and come together beautifully. So now we're pinning the bottom as well and then we're going to sew along the top and the bottom to sew both pieces together. And you might have to 
make sure and adjust everything a little bit to make sure that the two layers are not sliding around because one fabric is a little bit stretchier than the other but that's all right <laughs> we can deal with that and we're also sewing the other side this time I'm sewing on the fleece side of the fabric which I think is a little bit easier because it's not as stretchy and here we are we have the bottom and the top all sewn now we have to fold the fabric like in half in a bit of a funny way so it'll be kind of a ring here and then we're going to pin everything together at the seams so that everything matches up that the seams match up and the cuts for the thumb opening match up and then we're going to sew all the way around and we're going to start and stop at the cuts for the openings for the thumb and we are also going to leave a turning hole at the bottom of the lining fabric about two three inches long two three inches wide so I'm starting to sew and when I get to the cut for the thumb opening I'm going to stop there so we start and stop at the markings for the thumb opening now we're getting to the lining fabric again just making sure that everything matches up and I'm stopping at the cut again and then I start at the next cut again and I'm just going to sew a little bit further and then I'm going to stop so we have a nice little opening to turn the glove inside out later on there it is so here we have the opening for the thumb on both the lining and the main fabric and here we have our turning hole and now it's getting a little bit tricky but don't worry it's not too bad <laughs> I'm trying to show you as best as possible on the camera here what I'm doing so I'm folding the thumb opening on the inside away to the, towards the middle of the glove and then I'm lining up the outside um, the lining and the main fabric right sides together and then I'm sewing the thumb hole here the fabric from one cut to the other and now we're turning it inside out and then we can see the seam that we just sewed through the hole there it is and now we are going to sew the other two pieces together so then all our thumb holes look really nice and neat from the outside once we turn the glove inside out so I'm sewing again from one cut to the other there we go that's it now we can turn the glove inside out through the turning hole it's a little bit fiddly <laughs> but there we are and now we can close the turning hole with a little ladder stitch you don't have to worry about being too exact because no one will ever see that hole ever again because it's going to be on the inside of your glove but of course it's good to make it nice and neat so it'll stay together it'll stay put and the fabric won't open up again over time so there we are now we can turn the fingerless glove inside out and then we'll notice that the lining fabric is a little bit longer on the inside so we're just rolling it over 
rolling it over the seam here and then we can pin it in place and then we'll have a nice little border to our fingerless glove just pinning it in place on the top and at the bottom and then we are going to sew all the way around to make sure it stays nice and put and this time I'm using a matching thread on the for my top thread so I don't see any stitches from the outside and I'm using a white thread for my bobbin thread and there we are I'm doing the same thing at the top and there we have our fingerless gloves so that's the one that I don't really need to fold over but I can still fold it over if I want to at the top or I could make it a little bit shorter whatever you like I made a few different ones just to play it around a little bit and try it out and I, I just used some fabric that I had plenty of so here's one that I really really like as well I made it really long at the top so it can cover my fingers as well and make them nice and warm for when it's really really cold outside or cold at the sewing machine sometimes in winter it's really a pain to sit at the sewing machine because my fingers are so cold but now with these nice little fingerless gloves it'll be a lot nicer so here we are that's that model I really really enjoy it I really like it I like when the lining fabric shows really nicely on the outside I could have made it in many many different other colorways and I might still do that too and it was just really fun to play around with that. I'd love to see your creations in the Sammy Facebook group. I also made another one where I made it not as long and I used velour for the inside which is so so soft and really really nice and fluffy and it just feels so lovely on the hands. So this is a nice little compromise. It's not too long not too short and it just feels really comfortable on the hands so yeah if you join the semi facebook group or if you're already a member i would love to see your creations there and i don't know <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for sewing with me bye thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me i hope you enjoyed this project if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you want to support me, you can purchase my patterns on my website. The link is down below in the video description. See you next time. Bye!